do are still going to be played, like how I play your music, you know, later on down the road. So what is your current state of how R&B is going right now? Um, it's kind of weird. You know, I feel like people want more music quicker. So songs die quicker, you know what I mean? So I'm not sure if whatever, whatever's the biggest record now from whichever artist, male or female, are we going to be listening to it 10 years from now and feeling the same way? I'm not sure. I don't know because people might have not had that time to marinate and really take those records in because, you know, when you released music back then, it was like, you got three, four, five months, <laughs> you know, uh -huh. and nowadays it's like three weeks, you know, so you... I'm not sure if the intake is as substantial as last, you know, when, when people were releasing records earlier, because just the way that you got music, the way that you, 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 you put the, the blood, sweat and tears into that body of work and the, the way that people received it was a little different. You know, it's a little bit microwave now. It's tap the phone bomb, you know, so it's. Yeah. it's <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Okay, oh, no, you can do that. Today, today, you'll be Okay. All here for it. <laughs> Thank but you. But no, I understand. But look, she, but still, you always going to be reigning queen of R&B. That's what we're just going to leave it right there. About I mean, and I understand what Ashanti said, too. It's because, like, at that time, we were growing up, watching the 106 and Park and seeing Foolish on the countdown. Yes. Seeing uh, Baby on the countdown. Just seeing Ashanti take over 106 and Park. So now, you know, we're we're kind of not going through as much as we did when we were younger from relationships or friendships. So like the music back then hits different. Like we can still bump all of the Shanti <laughs> records, all the Keisha Cole records, all the everybody else records because we actually experienced something when it came out. Yeah. So and I think like, time, like, it, like yeah. the timing of everything, we got to really soak in an album completely. And you know, you have, you, I always say music is so abstract, you can't really put a feeling to it. But when you listen right. to an album, to a record is supposed to bring you back to a feeling that you felt when you nice. first played it, you know, and that's what you guys have been doing. So that's why everybody um, wants to do as it is tonight. That's <laughs> what I'm saying. I feel like tonight is going to bring you back to those times and you're going to be mm -hmm. like, damn, I remember when he did that shit to me. You know what I mean? And you're going to be like, oh, I can't stand him. And then you're going to be like, oh, but we had our issues, but we used to, you know, like it's going to bring back a bunch of different memories i think for everyone you know what i mean yes the music is just so powerful and it is so spiritual you know and 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 it just creates such an amazing feeling you know even with yeah. me being an artist when i hear certain records coming up you know when i was in high school that feeling you never forget that you know exactly. so the fact that you know myself and Keish, like we can do something like that and create that for other for another generation of other people for me like that's amazing like that's that's a blessing you know yeah that's a big fact so ashanti the main question is are you dropping new music tonight or like when can we get new music from ashanti yep 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 hey okay. it tonight. Oh. <laughs> wait for tonight yeah, yeah okay. here for it. wait a snippet for y'all is there like a uh, come come on, Ashanti? We, oh, we yeah. need that snippet. We need that. We're here for it. Um, it's on a computer. I wish I could play a snippet. Would it work though if I played it from the computer? No, because the speakers on this computer is busted. <laughs> <They go away. laughs> but the record is called Two Thirty Five. I'm very excited about it. Um, it's called Two Thirty Five slash I Want You. It's super sexy. Um, we got some stuff coming. I did some some sexy stuff to the record. What's, what's the concept behind the 235? Waking up at 235 in the morning and fiending for that person. And it kind of is just like they're embedded in your soul. So every time you, whatever it is that you're doing in your day and whatever work you have to do and whatever you're supposed to be focused on, this person just pops up. Whether it's a text, whether it's something that reminds you of this person. And it's just like, it's, it's in here. <laughs> like a badass so I feel it girl but look yeah. Ashanti, you know one of the reasons why the verses was delayed was due to you contracting COVID so yes. you know talk about just like about your experience dealing with it you know maybe even the, the severity of how you know fast this disease can you know just spread what was it like for you so the, here's the thing I literally my bags were packed my stylist was at the house. 
we had the jet waiting. I literally went to take the test as like a precaution. Like, okay, let me just do this. It's part of the thing. I had all my stuff ready. You know, we're ready to go. And when they said positive, I was like, who? <laughs> you know, I'm like, not me. And I was just so dumbfounded. And I kind of, I was stunned genuinely because I couldn't believe. And I'm not saying it like, oh, I'm invincible. I can't get yeah. it. I'm saying it like, I wear my mask, I sanitize, you know, I had a shield. Obviously, I was, I had just gotten back from uh, Nairobi in Kenya, and I was around 13 people every day, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And we were like doing videos, eating together, and you know what I'm saying? So it's like, how, how did I get this? I didn't get it from traveling. I didn't get it from going to Africa. I got it from hugging a family member in my house. You know what I mean? And that's the part that's so scary because everyone is worried about going outside and going to the supermarket and doing this and doing that. I was doing that, you know, with my mask and my sanitizer and I was safe and I was, you know, six feet apart. And I gave a family member a hug. He didn't know he had it. And he gave it to me, my mom, my dad, you know what I mean? So yeah, it was just, it was really, really bizarre. You know, and, and I just, I couldn't believe it. You know, I just was like, this doesn't make any sense. Like, it's not supposed to happen like that. I'm being safe. You know, yeah. so that's, I'm a pure example of it genuinely can happen to anyone, even yeah. when you are following the guidelines. So I feel yeah. like it's important to follow the guidelines on top of, you know, it was, it was not a good thing. And a lot of, we're going to clear this up right now. A lot of, I'm about to say, clear like, it up. Clear the air, clear the air, I'm really confused on how someone would think that I would fake COVID, that I, like it would be, you know, something that's made up or I'm trying to not like that was so bizarre to me. You know, you kind of not really, you know, <laughs> the knowledge isn't there <laughs> for lack of words to 